If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform this little small miniature bottle of Hennessy into this lovely pink Hello Kitty inspired bottle, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video, I'm going to be transforming this little small miniature bottle of Hennessy. So what I'm going to do is just add on some pink craft paint that I purchased from Walmart. It's called Apple Barrel. It's about 55 or maybe it went up to about 60 cent. I'm just gonna take a small amount. I have this nice little paintbrush or you could use a sponge brush, it's up to you. I am going to paint on this pink paint onto this brown bottle. Now, I guess I could say this part is optional, but if you add on pink rhinestones with that brown background, I don't think it will look as good as if you did go ahead and paint it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can probably do one or two coats, it's up to you. If you're using a bottle like this that has like a lighter color, like let's say a miniature Patron bottle or Absolute, you can just use a marker. I don't know if a marker would really help with the brown liquid inside, but it's definitely up to you. So I have these cute little charms, these Hello Kitty charms. I don't know if I got them from AliExpress, Timu, or Amazon. I just be having stuff. I'm gonna use some E6000 glue, wax pickup tool. You can get that off Amazon or eBay as well. I also have them on my website. And I'm gonna use a little bit of UV resin only to apply the Hello Kitty charms. So once I let the, the paint dry, it's like really ashy. Um, it's not perfect, but it's fine. Now, I wasn't sure if I was gonna to have to sand off the paint where I'm adding the UV resin. I didn't know if it was gonna adhere, but it did. So I know it's not gonna lay flush. I put it at like an angle. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm using UV resin, it's because it's the bomb.com and I really like it because it's a stronghold. Um, these Hello Kitty charms are heavy, as you may imagine. When you're using something heavier like this, it can um, slide. So I didn't wanna have those sliding issues. So I used the UV resin so it can lock on almost instantly. It just takes a few seconds to cure it and it's like, I love it. So I'm gonna add three of them, just randomly. I didn't know how I wanted to do it, but I just thought the pink would be cute because Valentine's Day is literally, what, 15, 16 days away? I don't know, no, maybe 20 something days away. So pink is on my radar. I love pink anyway. So look, I just have it under the LED UV lamp. And if you don't wanna buy a lamp, don't. They have like a little handheld flashlight that you could use as well. I'm using some glass SS16 rhinestones just to kind of trace out the Hennessy label. I like these AB iridescent rhinestones. They give like a pinkish, purplish look to them. And I just thought it'd be cute just to trace it around. If not, if I would've just went around with the same pink I did the rest of the bottle, I think that would've been cute as well but it looked even better outlining it. Now, I did not use these rhinestones to outline the back. I just did the front. So I'm just gonna add these around. And if you're wondering um, why I didn't use UV resin to add the rhinestones, it's not necessary. E6000 is just fine. If you don't like E6000, there are other alternatives. I do like, um, a glue called uh, liquid fusion that's a really good one it's, it's non-toxic it has a little smell but it's like a very slight smell compared to this e6000 so I'm adding on the pink um, AB rhinestones oh they're they're pink jelly AB rhinestones so they have a kind of a transparent look to them they look a lot better when you have the color behind it the same as the rhinestones much better because they kind of barely show up if you don't have them on the same color that you're using them on it just looks better with the pink paint behind it 
So I'm just going to continue on adding on the rhinestones. I don't do like a perfect line across. I know some people do the, the brick method. I try. I just kind of fit them on as they go. But if you are a perfectionist and you want them to be a certain way, go right ahead and do what makes you feel comfortable. And I'm just working my way all the way up. And these rhinestones are super cute. I love how this pink is coming together with the Hello Kitty. It's just cute. And I know Hello Kitty is not like just for children. There's people, adults who like Hello Kitty. I didn't want it to seem like I was making this appeal to children because that's definitely not the idea. But I know someone I used to work with some years ago she loved her some Hello Kitty. I think this would be so cute. I think she would just adore something like this. I'm going to be making some um, Valentine's Day baskets. And I'll probably include this in one of them. Not baskets to sell, just some for um, certain people. Like maybe uh, my aunt, maybe my mother-in-law. I'm not sure yet, but I think that's what this is going to be for. And I think I'll make a red one. That would be really cute. So I'm just going to continue on with this. I've done Hennessy bottles before in the past and made them different colors, but I don't think I've went as extreme as pink. Oh, I think I did one as a real pretty green, and I did one as... A really cute bronze color oh I did a, a very pretty blue one so you can really get spunky with these and make them whatever color your heart desires and if you're not into rhinestones and you think this is um, too difficult for you don't worry get you some Mod Podge and some glitter and you can have some cute sparkle with glitter I have rhinestones available on my website if you're interested. MyRoyalRadiance.com is my website. I'll have a link available in the description. My favorite size rhinestone, the most common size that I use is a five millimeter. And again, around the trim of the label, I use basically a four millimeter SS16. I really like how this is coming together. As some of you may know, I love pink. So this is just so adorable. And these Hello Kitty charms are just like really setting it's, this off. And this didn't take me that long at all. I wanna say this took me less than an hour, probably maybe 45 minutes if I just sat here and did it straight. I'm almost finished and I'll show you some different angles. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this little miniature, I call them a shorty bottle, but it's a miniature bottle of Hennessy. I just, I bought it from the grocery store, um, the liquor section, and I want to say it was about $4, it was under $5 for the bottle. These also make cute stocking stuffers for people who drink. They also make really nice little birthday gifts. They make cute party favors. Um, they're just cute. And I think I had another idea to do one of these with like other little pieces that are not like just Hello Kitty, just a whole bunch of different little pieces like those, just to cover the whole thing up to make it like a, I guess it's called a kawaii, kawaii, I'm not sure. But the really cute, busy, I think it's like a Japanese theme where it's real colorful, it's busy, it's a lot of charms. I think that would be cute. But I just recently made um, a real busy, junky shot glass. I think that would be cute with this. I didn't include it in this video, but you could check that video out. But thanks to you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
and share it on Facebook. Send it to someone who may be interested. And let me know what you guys think. Are you going to make one of these? Are you going to gift one of these to someone? Are you going to be making some Valentine's Day baskets? Um, and then if you don't do pink, what color would you do? Okay, you guys, um, thanks again for watching. And you can subscribe to this channel if you'd like to. If you do decide to subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again. Bye-bye. website myworldradiance.com and we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code myroyalbeauty 10 off. Check out our website crtacticaldefense.com where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code vibes for a special discount for my subscribers. Follow me on Instagram at Life is a Whole Vibe and the same name on TikTok as well. Bye bye.